So I'm headed to surgery right now. A little weird saying that on camera. <laughs> Not usually one to dive into the behind life stuff like that. How am I feeling? Nervous, because <laughs> I'm a nervous person in general. A little anxious because, you know, change can be both frightening and exciting. Um, I'm optimistic because, I mean, I don't feel like I have a lot of things I'm trying to fix, so I feel like I'm just kind of going in for maintenance, so that's not too scary. Um, and I feel like I did lots of research and picked a really good surgeon who's going to do a fabulous job, so I feel like I'm in very good hands. Also going to a very reputable surgery center, so I feel like uh, all around I will have excellent care. And I did everything on my list over the last week. I drove TC insane, right? <laughs> By being overly anal about everything. Oh God. Um, a little freaked out with this whole COVID-19 thing happening at the same time as my surgery. But I have been self-isolating for the week and have been advised to do so for the week after just to ensure that I don't get a fever or anything that might complicate my healing. So I feel like I'm stocked up on foods. I've got all the things they recommend for me to have after surgery. I've got all the extra scar creams, all that kind of stuff, all ready to go. All I have to do now is go to surgery, come home, take my drugs like a good girl that they give me and sit on my couch with puppies. So yeah, I will be doing little snippet vlogs like this. Yes, it will be showing me with no makeup. I know, it's frightening. <laughs> but uh, I'm not gonna be able to move my arms very much for the next couple of days. So I'm gonna be T-Rexing it. So I'm going to just kind of give you guys either multiple little videos or one video and it'll just be the succession of just letting you know what's up and how it feels and what's going on for all those who don't know or all those who are curious or all those other girls out there who are looking at going for a surgery and don't have anyone they can talk to who's been through it. I also feel like I look like a little bit of a convict with braids, uh, one of TC's older shirt, button-up shirts that's way too big for me, and pajama pants because I have to wear comfortable, loose-fitting clothing. So I'm also wearing no bra. We'll note that because I figured, what was the point? I'm going to be leaving in my surgical bra and living in that for the next, like, six weeks. So I figured, no bra this morning. Screw it. Alrighty, well, we're off later in the afternoon now. <laughs> been home for a little while. I feel not bad. I feel wonky, I'm not gonna lie. I feel kind of like half of my brain is like floating like a kite. And I feel like the other half of me is like, no, I'm totally normal. Everything's fine. The hardest part right now is not doing anything because I have to remember I'm supposed to be an invalid. So I have to keep asking TC to do everything, which is really weird. <laughs> but I'm thankful I have someone who cares and is taking care of me, which is nice. Uh, surgery went well. Uh, nothing too crazy. They just, uh, it was time to freshen up the girls as it were. And so they freshened up a couple things, tightened a few things. So I'm sore in the odd spots, but overall it's actually quite tolerable. Normally after boob job, when you first come home, it hurts and you're in a lot of pain. Right now I'm in minimal pain, so it's not so bad. This is my lovely surgical bra, so I'm living in this for the next while. So yeah, I don't know. You see setting up a bed gone from me on the couch so I can sit down. Just kind of watch a movie and be a space cadet. <laughs> but yeah, that's all. Love you guys. Bye. It's day four, so I'm still feeling a little loopy. I feel like I'm talking really slow and brain processes are quite slow. I've been mostly resting and just relaxing. Thankfully, TC is here to take care of me because I can't reach all the way up and I can't reach out and I can't bend over and I can't pull my own pants up <laughs> and I can't wash myself. Uh, this is coming handy. It's for all the girls getting a boob job sometime soon. Get yourself a little grab -a stick. I find this very helpful for when something's just out of reach. It's easy to use to grab it, to just pick it up. This has been a lifesaver, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yesterday I was able to start more arm movement. So before I couldn't, wasn't allowed to move my arms 
past like this. So now I've been doing slow stretches, just slow, gentle range of motion stretches like this to either side and then back down and then forward. Forward ones are the hard ones. I find it hurts the most right here, which is pretty normal. This side I noticed I've got, which is very normal, either a trap fluid or an air pocket. And so as I move my arm, it makes kind of a creaky noise that I can hear. It's a little bit freaky, it kind of freaked me out. I Googled it last night and I text my friend Brycey and concluded that it's very normal. Everything I Googled, it was fine. So normal arm is just kind of creepy. It will go away in time. This is my lovely bra that I'm in for the next few weeks at least. <laughs> um, it is a surgical bra, so it's a compression bra. It does tighten in the middle and the straps tighten. It's not so bad. I mean, it's not the sexiest thing I've worn, but it could be a lot worse. <laughs> I've basically just been wearing this with pajama shorts or pajama pants because I'm just doing a lot of sitting around really. So something comfy. Pain is surprisingly not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, or as it could be, but not as good as I was hoping it might be. So I've still been taking my drugs, my tramadol. I find it makes me feel really loopy and kind of very zoned out and just weird, which I don't really like. So I'm just trying to take it easy. My husband helped me wash my hair today. <laughs> It's been four days since I had a shower. Well, I had a shower the other day. He helped me by washing me down in the shower because I couldn't really scrub. Um, and I can't really wash my hair, so I can slowly put my hands up like this, which is good, but I can't really put them back. And to do any sort of lifting, scrubbing, or pushing, I can't do yet without a little bit of discomfort. I took a plastic stool and put it in the shower and put a towel on it and sat on it, and he washed my hair for me. Yeah, number one gold medal goes to TC for doing all the things because literally can't do it all. So yeah, the hardest part is remembering that I'm an invalid and to not do things because the more I do things and possibly hurt myself, the longer my recovery is. And I will note it's a little bit freaky with this whole pandemic thing going on. So I've just been staying inside. Normally I would go for walks with the puppies and TC very slow walking because any fast pace jostles a lot. So slow steps are not as bad, but I've been advised to stay indoors by my doctor. So I'm doing that because that's what we need. So I had my first look at the girls yesterday. Um, it's always exciting and kind of nerve wracking. Um, generally you're taught not to look at them too soon because they always go in a little high. So they're looking really great. I'm very excited. Um, I haven't seen the incision because there's bandages over them, so I won't see those until after I go to my post-op appointment, which is really a week to 10 days afterwards. So yeah, they're looking pretty good. I'm reminding myself at this point if they seem a little high or a little hard uh, to just ignore it because um, it's really easy to have an emotional roller coaster after surgery because you do this thing, you're sore, you're uncomfortable, the drugs make you feel weird, and you hit a point where you get sick of everything, and then you kind of hit an emotional dip. And so it almost starts to feel like a little bit of a depression because you're like, oh, they don't look the way I wanted them to, or I'm not sure how they're going to look. And you just kind of hit this downward go. So I'm trying to do things every day that is uh, just relaxing and to not focus on them. It's kind of like a program or something where they sold something and they always said, you said it and you forget it. I've always said to myself, I just said it and forget it. And then I can observe later because right now it's not going to look the way it's going to look. So getting all worked up in my head that it's all like something when it's not, is silly. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure to note that because I know a lot of girls get upset shortly thereafter that it doesn't look how they want, but you really have to wait for them to settle and to relax and to have all the swelling and stuff go away. And that can take like months, well, a month to two months. So we'll see. So this is where I'm sleeping all week so far. I'm sleeping in my living room on my chaise lounge portion of my couch because I have to sleep for the first week elevated at a 45 degree angle for a multitude of reasons. One, because of the swelling. Two, because engaging one's ab muscles to sit up is extremely painful on the incisions below. 
and you can't use your arms to push yourself up. So it's really hard to get out of bed. Uh, TC has to come every morning and forklift me out of bed, as it were. So I've been sleeping on this chaise lounge because it already has a reclining back, and so I put a mattress topper on it so it would be easier to sleep. So all I need is a big pillow behind me and then a neck pillow and I can sleep easily. I find whenever I've done the bed before and just layered the pillows, it doesn't work. So there's never enough pillows. So this is kind of my setup. Yes, there's a weird medical pad here. It's because the dogs keep knocking over my water glass and spilling it everywhere. So they already soaked my book once. So I put a medical pad thing down just to prevent that. I also switch between that and my computer chair. So I'll sit in my computer chair to watch TV because it's easy to get in and out of and it's slightly reclined. Like I can't use my arms to do anything. TC has to pick me up and adjust me for everything. It's kind of... Uh, I'll probably sleep out here for another week. I usually double the time and do two weeks raised. That way I'm making sure I have enough time of sleeping elevated before I lay back and sleep flat. Also, I'm a side sleeper, so sleeping raised helps to encourage me not to sleep on my side. And I want to avoid sleeping on my side because that worked. Hey guys. Okay, so these are my vitamins that I'm taking. I'll first go through the ones prescribed by the doctor and then the ones that I take just because that's what I do. So prescribed by the doctor is your painkiller. So I've got tramadol. I'm taking that as prescribed one to two pills every four to six hours. I'm only taking one every six hours. And because it's day five today, I am trying to pace myself. So I'm trying to do only half of a pill every four hours or so. I found every six hours isn't quite good enough. And I'm waking up with pain. I was also prescribed to take Sonoco, which is a natural laxative from the drugstore. And you definitely want to take these because the tramadol will back you up. Okay, and then what I take on top of that, I take my birth control and I take a probiotic just to help with my stomach. I have gravel in case the tramadol made me nauseous, but I actually haven't found it made me nauseous at all, which is really great. Normally, I find it makes me a little nauseous. I'm also taking bromelain twice a day, just one pill for twice a day. It's extra strength bromelain. What's bromelain? Bromelain helps for digestion. It also helps with swelling and bruising. It helps your body just kind of process it easier. I've also been taking Arnica, Montana. So I take this twice a day. I take about three to five little, little doohickeys. Oh, I do not have this much motorcycles right now. So I don't know if you guys can see this, just those little guys. So I take like three to five of those. You put them on your tongue and just let them melt. I also have Arnica gel, which I get from Walmart. I got this to put on in case of super swollen or bruising, but I'm not having really bad swelling and there's no bruising, so I don't need it. So yeah, those are my pills. Those are all the pills I'm taking. Yay, pills! Thanks for watching, guys. And of course, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. You can do it now rather than just at the end. That way you won't forget. If you have any questions that you are wanting to know, as long as they are respectful, of course, please comment them below. And I can also do a follow-up video for this. That's more like a Q and A regarding the breast augmentation. That said, if you guys are just going to ask crass, rude questions about boobs, I may or may not answer those ones. Doing this more as like informational help. So any questions along those lines or respectful ones are always appreciated.